Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 17 of MC Eternal, where I've got a bunch of prep work for AE2 up and running. The goal by the end of the episode is to have an AE system. I would be very pleased if we could make that happen. I'll probably get drawers going, like our standard compacting drawers and drawers and all that good stuff that uh, comprises a, a nice, healthy applied energistics system. That's the goal. Will it happen? I don't know. Hope so. Uh, so between episodes, I uh, I worked on, on on quite a few things, to be honest with you. Uh, we've got uh, a, a little bit of mining that I took care of real quick. Uh, I'm going to real quick drop some of these dudes in here. That's right. I left my magnet on. I should do something about that. Um, it's not going to be a problem for long because uh, soon we'll have a, a block that'll do this for us without it having to be in a water source. Right? And that would be cool. Um... So with that said, speaking of, that's pretty much the next thing I want to work on. So we're continuing last episode's work of getting all the preparedness for uh, things cooking, right? So what we're going to want is six of these Fluix blocks. So we're going to need a handful more uh, of these dudes, right? And I could probably tick accelerate this, right? I think that's a smart move, tick accelerating. I mean, it can't hurt, right? Should work. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let's get let's get let's get our crystal growth accelerator going. The, like the good one, the good crystal growth accelerator. So we want two of you. Uh, we're gonna want more of these real quickity quick, uh, and then some more quartz glass. I'm just gonna grab a bunch of you because I know we're gonna need a bit in the future anyway. Uh, so that's six of those bad boys, and then we want a hopper. Oh good, that recipe's in. Remember that recipe? Why do I feel like it's been a while since I've seen that recipe? That's a great recipe. Why do I feel like it's... Why do I, maybe I just have ignored it. Maybe I've ignored its existence for the last few mod packs. But I just feel like it's been a while since I've seen that recipe. Hey, crystal growth chamber. That's cool. So the crystal growth chamber will allow us to do two things. Uh, one, it will allow us to automatically create the, the Fluix crystals that we've been making without a water source block. So that's cool. Uh, the other thing we're gonna do is, so like we do that and boom. The other thing it's gonna do is allow us to um, grow our crystals, which will be uh, really nice. So what we wanna do is probably pulverize some things. Oh, that's right, I left you on, didn't I? Let me turn you off for a minute. Uh, I'm gonna take you out of here. Actually, yeah, no, you could stay in there. Um, I'm gonna just put this away for a minute. And then uh, I'm gonna turn you off as well, because I don't want you auto output nothing. Uh, so let's get like 16 of you cooking, and I should probably take accelerate this a little bit. Uh, wouldn't be too bad of an idea. And you know what I'm gonna do to help help the tick accelerating? I should probably upgrade kit these guys. Would be a smart move, um, but you know me, I ain't that smart sometimes. But I do that, and now we're cool. Uh, and then you can auto input and out again. Cool. And that thing will balance out his power a little bit. Uh, some sand will come our way. And you will combine you into this, and you into this. Now we can double our Surtis Quartz Crystals, and they just grow that much faster, right? And I can Tick Accelerate it, so that's cool. It's the best! AE2 stuff makes, like, the, the, the slog part of AE Applied Artistics, like the slow part, that much better. I just, I just, I'm a huge fan of uh, AE2 stuff. It's a good mod. Just, just add some nice features. Could you consider it overpowered? Sure. Everything's overpowered. Everything's overpowered, therefore nothing is. That's an actual rule, I would say. Uh, so let's get like 16 of you guys in the advanced inscriber going. Uh, and that would be cool. So you're good here. You made a few of these. You made a few of these. Beautiful. Actually, give me like one more of them. So what is it? It's three per, right? So I'll probably want two more of these uh, for the drives that I'm going to want. But we'll see. And you've got the 16 of those. So we're gonna put you in here with some redstone and this. And I'm gonna go get more redstone because clearly I need more redstone. Yeah, I'm pretty excited as you guys can probably tell because it's applied energistics time. And I'm tired of sorting things into chests. I wanna have the big massive storage system. I wanna have all the things, right? And that sounds like a good time to me. Boom. And boom. Beautiful. 
So a few calculation processors, a few logic processors, a few engineering dudes, and we are good to go. And I'm gonna take the other 32 of this and just start making more silicon, because I suspect we're gonna need more silicon at some point. So we might as well get ready to do that. All right, now that we've got that going, right? So we can take you off our to-do list and you off our to-do list. Now let's get the brains of the operation going. Like we should probably get one of these dudes cooking um, at some point. For that, we're gonna need Fluix dust, which we can't get from pure Fluix, right? Because we craft pure Fluix with Fluix. So let's get a few uh, more of these guys cooking, right? So if we wanted a dense energy cell, we're gonna want 32 Fluix dust. So that's really 16 of these dudes. So maybe one more of you, and that should be what we need. So I'll let that cook for a minute. Um, I'm going to grab more redstone, because you need a healthy amount of redstone. All the mods are like redstone, all the things. All right, so now let's get our Emmy controller, which should be craftable, provided I get some of the sky stone we found from some of those crashed satellites uh, smelted up here. So if I tick accelerate you, you will catch up further ahead than the pulverizer is running. And that'll get us our sky stone blocks. Gorgeous. Emmy controller, ready to rock. Boom. Inscribers are done as well. Uh, I'll leave Fluix cable up there because you probably will need more at some point. I'm going to need drives. And now I need uh, storage cells for drives, right? Let's also, before we get into that, get our crafting terminal up and running. So uh, what we're going to want is one of you. So we're going to want um, one of these dudes. We need some glowstone and quartz glass. Networking switchboard, what's up? And glowstone. Might as well make a few terminals right now, because you know you always need a few terminals, right? Like, we're, we're, we're gonna need a fourth at some point. Um, three. I'm confused as to what just happened with my inventory, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sweat it too much. Just a little confused. That was weird. But we're fine. Uh, crafting terminal, so you're gonna get a regular ME terminal. So we need um, this dude and this dude. Uh, so that's gonna be Certus. Uh, dust is also gonna be needed for that guy. Let's get a few more Certus dust. You can come over to here. Boop, boop, boop. Cool, cool, cool. Flux crystals, I'm going to disable auto output for a minute. We'll put you away. And basically what we'll do is, um, there you go, beautiful. So I can put my magnet back on now, right? And then you can go back to auto output enabled, sweet. All right, uh, magnet back on, because we're no longer dropping stuff into pools and you can go on as well. And that'll save us some space. Cool. Let's get uh, just a few of these. Four of each. Four sets of each, I should say. Is probably a smart move. Uh, and boy, is my inventory full. Let's put away some other stuff for a minute that we may not need at this exact moment while we're getting this up and running. Because we're super close to having what we need. So we're going to want... Let's just do... I might as well make all three terminals, right? Because the pattern terminal comes off of a crafting terminal. And the interface comes off of an... Okay, yeah. I should probably... Actually, no, you don't need that. So let's just do two of these for now. Um, so we'll make the pattern... We'll make we'll make two crafting terminals. Uh, so that should be fine. Come on. There you go. So two crafting terminals. Cool. And one of you is going to be a pattern terminal for later. And I really need more of these, don't I? Uh, good, yes, use the pure that we have. A much bigger table. Nice. Now I totally ran that in a stupid place, didn't I? I really did. That was not a smart place, Direwolf. I'm just putting that out there. Okay, so your crafting terminal will be here. Your pattern terminal will be there, and we will do some facades and covering up in a bit. Don't worry, that will happen. But let's clean this up a little. How do I want to run this? Like, I feel like I should be running it a smarter way than I currently am. 
And obviously we're gonna rearrange this a little bit uh, at some point. Oh, hey little buddy, I don't want you in my base. You'll just come in here and steal my stuff. Mm. Mm. What I should realistically be doing is putting my ME controller in the center of the room like I usually do. Um, and then branching off from there anyway. And you know what else we could do? We could probably peek into flux networks today if we wanted to. I'm just thinking that might not be a terrible plan. Let me get the center of this room set up. All right, so here's about where we want our ME controller to live, right? Uh, and we could just run our uh, power over to this dude uh, from one side, or we could flux network him in a bit. Are we really in a position to do flux networks? I'm gonna hold off on flux networks for a bit. We'll, we'll, we'll run power for now. Um, because that's the position that I would say we found ourselves in, right? The, the need to run power. And this is going to be a little dire wiry. I'm just, I'm just warning you now. But at the end of the day, I think there will be value in what I'm doing, and that's good. That and I need, I need bigger dumping, better jumping, better jumping is what I need. So I want to disconnect you guys so that you can be there, and that should be cool. I understand I have a messy base. I apologize. It's about all I can say right now. Uh, we're probably gonna need more ME Fluix cable if that's what we're gonna do. So let's make a few more of those. Um, at least for now, that should be good. And perfect, 50 is a, is a nice number. It's not bad at all. All right, so remember, we're not gonna easily be able to, to coexist our cables unless we get into Ender IO cabling. So for now, these guys will have to run like this. And is it gonna be messy for now? Yeah, no, I'm not gonna lie, it totally is. It's totally gonna be messy, um, and that's okay. What is going on outside my base right now? Do you hear all this terrible sound? Should we go peek? Is all well? I totally heard spooky sounds. All right, back inside we go. Now, uh, this, in theory, might be able to run down here. And we'll totally, like, you know, facade it up in a bit. But my hope is that'll connect everything up. So if I'm not mistaken, this guy should be online now. Yeah, looking good. All right, let me put you in standard search, JEI synchronized standard. Okay, that's what we want. And you also should be JEI synchronized standard. Oh, I guess it, it oh good, keeps them both the same. Nice. All right, now we want our ME drive hooked up to this dude as well. And let's start making drives, which uh, I'm probably gonna need more logic processors for. So let's uh, throw some more gold into this bad boy and I'll be back when that's done rafting. All right, so now we've got this cooking. We can bring you upstairs and uh, I guess I'll craft here for one of the last times. So we're going to make uh, 4K ME storage components and 1K ME storage components. So basically what I'd love to do is not use you, but use you where possible. Um, so I could go with about 20 more of those, and that would give me a total of, what, nine? Yeah, so, right, so five times four, 20. So 20 more Certus Quartz. Do we have some Certus Dust? We can get some. Let's turn you off for a minute. Right, uh, get me some, uh, oh yeah, also turn you off. And let's get like, I don't know, 20 more Certus Dust. All right, um, yeah, might as well take my bobble off. It'll just speed things up. Uh, to do, heavy, serious to do is to uh, get this thing to have more power, uh, you know, with upgrades. So the 20 Certus turns into 40 pure Certus. So that's the reason to do that, right? Um, and I'm gonna take my silicon and get more of this stuff cooking while I'm down here as well. So you get to work uh, and you get to work. 
And these things grow pretty quickly, especially when tick accelerated. But even without tick accelerations, like that, that machine is just awesome at growing those things. All right, cool. So that means I should be able to make a few more 1Ks. Perfect. Uh, now, what am I short on for that? Oh, did you use the wrong one? Rip. Rip a Roni. The shift click failed me. Dun dun dun. So that's 17, 18, 18 is probably good, right? Because then we can turn that into the 4K storage components, so there will be six of those. Uh, and 4K is always kind of the way I go, right? I mean, that's that's pretty much where I almost always wind up. Um, actually, let's, they're going to be a little tricky to do. So what am I short on there? Was it iron that we were short on? I might be short on iron. No, nah, I think I'm probably short on, yeah, the Certus glass. All right. Uh, hey, portable crafting table. So let's make some 4Ks. That'll at least get this guy going. And then to make another 4K, we are actually short also on redstone, again, and crushed quartz. Uh, so you get to crush and buddy and don't auto output. A little bit more redstone. Really, bro? Come on, let's go. You got time for you. I want to get AE in. All right, so another of you, and then another of you. And that's a good start to apply to Energistics, y'all. That's a real good start. Now, uh, so that means we should be able to store stuff in here, right? And that's cool. Oh, that's so good. Oh, it's so good when you get to do things like this. I love it. I love it. I'm not going to put any more resources in there, though, because I totally want to have a drawer system, right? Um, so anything that should go in a drawer shouldn't go in here for now. But, like, hey, that's a good starting point by far. That's really nice. All right. Uh, let's get an external storage bus. Can we knock one of these dudes out? ME storage bus needs two pistons and an ME interface. I should be able to pull that off. Right? Yeah. So you guys are all pretty much done. You guys are done. Uh, crafting terminal's done, pattern terminal interface is a to-do, right? So I'll get another interface just so I can uh, make the ME interface terminal. Just so we have it, uh, so that it's like already done, right? And that's cool. Not that we're gonna be auto-crafting just yet, but it'll still be convenient to have, right? And then I can knock out all the things on my to-do over there. And that's good, so now the last piece of the puzzle here was the storage bus. Right, and for that we need one, two, and then one of them has to be sticky. So I should have some slime balls. And an ME storage bus is good to go. Nice. Uh, and then what we want to do is have a drawer controller. So let's get one of those ready. So you're going to be. I might have some smooth stone handy. I do. Nice. And let's get a few drawers ready. Um, yeah, we're going to want our key out, right? And that should be cool. So drawer controller, we're also going to want some redstone torches. I might have some already made, but I could always just knock them out real quick. Shouldn't be too bad to poke. Ah, I saw them. There they are. Nice. Okay. So this drawer will serve to make our drawer controller, which also needs a pair of these and a diamond. Beautiful. Where should we set up our drawer system? In the basement down here. Um, you know, along this wall sounds like a good idea on paper, but I don't know if it's true. Uh, and what else I should do is probably, should probably move this and put it like in this corner against this wall is what I should do. So let's remove this dude. Oh, right. <laughs> Dyer, why are you so smart? So 
Once I break him, he's going to place another one, guys. That's how it works. Uh, and just to not waste any of the stuff we've gotten so far, why don't we put all this stuff uh, in a position to, to hold it. All right, back in a minute, let me organize. All right, so a uh, little die wiry, but it, you know, it's getting the job done. Uh, we're going to have our drawer controller here. Uh, and then we could probably have a few drawers ready to go. So let's make that happen. That sounds like a good time, right? Um, and we'll get a bunch of basic oak drawers. And some of these we're going to want to convert, obviously, um, to be compacting drawers. And we'll definitely do that uh, sooner than later. Maybe now. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, and, 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 you know... Is, is this going to look similar to things you guys have seen me do before? Yeah. It's just the most efficient way to do it. It's, it's way better than just storing all your junk in drives, right? If this, was, um, if, this, if this was a refined storage, storing all your junk in drives works just fine. And it's just it's okay to do that, right? Because you don't, you're not limited by types. Uh, however, when you're, when, you're, when you're playing with applied energistics, you're in a much better position to not just store all your junk and drives and just whatever. Uh, you want to you wanna have some kind of semblance of, 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 of reason to what you're doing. And in fact, I just changed my mind and decided that I want uh, this guy to be down here. So your ME storage bus will be here with a drawer controller like so, right? Uh, and then that means that we can get more of you, which means we can get more of you, which means good things. 32 basic drawers. Uh, how many how many compacting drawers are we gonna want? You wanna start with 16 compacting drawers? Compacting drawers, 16 sound cool. So that's gonna just be a bunch of iron and redstone, right? That's about all there is to it. Remember when I said I wasn't gonna be low on iron? Yeah, I'm a little bit low on iron. I'm also low on redstone, surprisingly. That's rare, it's rare. I mean, I did just burn a lot of redstone. Uh, but it's rare to get low on redstone. But let's get like, uh, I guess, if I want 16 of these, I need 32 of these, right? That's not nearly enough. Um, it's getting better, getting better. Let's get more of you, because I hope that's what I was low on. Now we're getting better. Uh, what are we short on now? Wood, okay, cool. We're gonna absolutely need more iron. We might have more iron over here, because I did go mining between episodes, so yes, we got more iron, yay. I was I was processing all the, all the irons that I got, and that's cool. So it'll be 30, so now I just need two more. And that should be perfect. And that should be 16 compacting drawers available to me. Once I smelt up more cobblestone, uh, which eh, I may not need to do, we'll see. That might be enough. Hey, no, we're good, 16, perfect. All right, so uh, what we're gonna do, cool, is probably I will put, five, six, seven, is that what it'll be? Yeah, I don't know that I want that. That'll be good, right? And if we have to go higher, we'll go higher. Fair? Does that seem reasonable? And then you guys can go away. Oh man, it feels so good. It feels so good to have uh, an applied energistic system. You guys have no idea. It's literally the best. So if I made four more drawers, then I could run these like so. And not only are we somewhat hiding the cables, but we're also now uh, connecting all our drawers to our controller, which is gonna be ideal, which means we can confirm they're all connected by locking them. That is cool. Um, and then we're also gonna want this guy to be a high priority insert so that he will be uh, priority 10. Uh, and then we can put something in there, things that we want to have in block mode, right? So like this can be my dusts and gems and these can be my metals, right? And we can even go further over one and that'll be fine, right? So like diamonds, um, redstone, right? Uh, metals we'll put over here. That should be cool. Gold. Nice. Uh, quartz could probably be a uh, to-do right there. Okay. So let's start Let's start moving our stuff down there, right? So what I'm going to want is to basically grab all these things. Now, some of these, like Lumium and Signalum and, and, the, and the random metals that we don't generally have a lot of, 
Uh, I don't think it makes sense. Like Constantin, Invar, Electrum, Iridium, Platinum maybe could be a drawer. But Platinum's usually pretty rare. Uh, and eventually we might do things like Constantin, Electrum, and Invar. But like initially, I don't think it makes sense because we're going to have so few of them, it doesn't make sense to put them in the drawers, right? So by doing that, it should clear things that we've already put in the way, and that's cool. Uh, and then you're just going to be like Silver. You can be Nickel. Bronze doesn't need to actually be in there either. Um, and it doesn't really matter where we put things. Platinum, it should be in there. So that should be fine. And bronze doesn't need to be in there, right? Uh, and that's cool. So crushed quartz can go away. Certus quartz crystal should be in there as well. But let's, um, is there anything else in here that should be in a drawer? Probably not. At least not yet. Okay. So like these metals and stuff don't need to be in a drawer. And that looks good to me. Okay. Sweet. Wood should be in a drawer, but we'll deal with that shortly-ish. All right, next up, dust and gems. So this, 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 this. I'm just gonna get like one of each, right? I'm gonna hold off on anything that's not, that that's like a mob drop type resource, right? Black quartz should probably be in a drawer. Anything else in here? Sulfur should be in a drawer. Uh, this stuff should be in a drawer, prosperity shards, and these guys should be in a drawer for now. A lot of these other gems should be in a drawer, uh, and a lot of them will probably not be in the compacting drawers, they'll be in normal drawers, so that'll be fine, right? Um, so I like anything that's a world gem gem like this would probably be smart to be in a drawer. Um, some of these things are pretty rare though, so I'm not sure if I want to start putting them in drawers just yet, but I probably should. Potassium nitrate, rubies, peridots, and sapphires. Some of these things are so rare that it doesn't make a lot of sense to put them in drawers yet. So how about we do these, and we'll go from there. So some of these we do want to compact, right? Like coal, for sure, we definitely want to compact, right? Emeralds, we definitely want to compact. Um, and we can double click this dude to make sure that all the things that were in our inventory are good. Now these guys, I don't think we have to worry about compacting, right? So how did you become a basic drawer? Did you not lock, Mr. Bronze? I thought everybody was locked. Okay, let's uh, let's not let's not be foolish now. Okay, and I'll just kind of mishmash this a little bit. I don't think it's like super important to put anything in a particular location. Just kind of put things wherever they may fit, and that'll work for me. Oh, lapis should be in a compacting drawer, right? Yeah, definitely. Sweet. All right, I'm gonna organize a little bit more. Uh, and then we will be right back. All right, I've got a large bunch of junk with me, because if I'm not mistaken, we put it all away. I think I caught most of the stuff that I would need uh, to be in things. So I like to sort by number of items. That's always a nice way to sort. Kind of shows the things you have a lot of at first because generally the things you have a lot of are the things that you need a lot of right uh so you and sandstone i think would be smart to have drawers of and probably gravel uh for now and maybe a few other things in the future right like we'll probably have drawers for all the normal things that we see miscellaneous junk i can't see anything in my miscellaneous junk chests um needing a drawer because that's miscellaneous junk's definition right is it's just random miscellaneous junk uh so that should be cool right so let's get um get four more of you and that should be cool is that good for now so we'll do gravel I should probably do sand and dirt as well in here so that means I should have another set of drawers And you could just probably go up here for now, buddy. 
Cool. And that'll be sandstone. Anything else I should store in there for now? Uh, probably netherrack. Yeah, netherrack probably would be a smart one to throw in there. The other stuff, limestone and marble and jasper and whatever else that stuff is, maybe clay might not be a bad one, right? And I'm not going to set up just yet any voiding, right? But for now, let's see how we're holding now. So let's, let's dump all this junk in here. This is going to be a big mess, but the magnet will help. Come with me, everything. Hey, don't forget whatever this is, and why are you stuck in blocks? Oh. Put it all away. Organizing. See, this is how you clean up a mess. Whee! Holding shift and dragging everywhere. It's the best. Don't tell me I'm full. I can't possibly be full. Wait, really? <gasps> wow, I have a lot of junk. Holy cow, do I have a lot of junk. All right, guess who needs more... Guess who needs more nonsense storage. I need, I need a lot more storage for my nonsense. All right, uh, who's up for a few more uh, 4K storage drives? I think that's probably in our future. Let's do four more of them. Yeah, I think that would be smart. So that would be... Uh, 12 of these dudes so yeah let's get to work actually you know what i am out of sort of squirts again so it looks like i'm mining between episodes once more uh so how about we do this let's wrap up the episode here and we'll come back next time and uh that looks good that looks good that looks good i like to bring a little bit of that with me around uh we will come back next time and i should also bring more torches with me because i ran low on those last time i went mining uh that should be cool perfect Whew, I'm loving having an AE system. So next episode, uh, we will probably have the, the 4K storage cells ready to go. I'll also grab a few more resources. That'll probably be beneficial for us. Um, yeah, that all looks good to me. I'm just going to put all this away. And all this should fit because most of it's going into the door system. And if you want to make sure that you're not overloading things too much, what I can do is just disconnect this guy and we'll just go up here and see if we have anything in large supply, right? If we had thousands of something at this point, I'd be like, oh, I should probably be in a drawer, right? Like silkworm eggs, I should probably just take those out and put them in the other drawer that we already have, right? Um, now that said, I know what's gonna happen is I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna put them somewhere. So why don't I just put them in a drawer, right? And that's an easy way to be like, all right, cool. That should have been in a drawer, right? Skystone, and eh, it's, it's not that much of it, right? So we don't have a lot of, any resource actually in our drawers, which is good, um, which is cool, right? So now we've reconnect that guy and we know we're cool with stuff. And that looks good to me. So yeah, uh, more Surtis Quartz. And then um, what do we do next? I probably wanna do the foregoing and the and the magic stuff. I wanna get back to Electro Blobs because I really wanna play with some of those apprentice level spells and get further advanced in Electro Blobs. So I think once we get the AE system up and running and I clean up my base a little bit, I might, decide that's a good time before we like build our base up too much to do the pyramid base because i do want to do that so setting up a pyramid base in the middle of the desert sounds like fun to me i think that could be cool right uh so maybe we'll do that and then we'll we'll do the mob spawner thing we'll do the electro blobs thing uh we have lots of mods that we haven't even looked at yet that i'd like to learn better so for now double 20 sign off hope you guys enjoyed the episode gonna go mining so take it easy Hey, buddy.